No wonder Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come to the Father except he come by me. Jesus help us to understand he is the door. If you try to enter it any other way, he said the same as a thief and a robber. Yeah. You got to come in. You got, I was in a Bible study one time, and one lady, she was telling me, she says, I, I don't need baptism. I just need the Spirit. She said, I just want the Holy Spirit. Well, she's trying to come into the Lord's church by the Spirit. But remember the Spirit in regards to the window. She's trying to come in a way other than the door. Yeah. She's trying to come in as a thief and a robber. Yeah. You can't be, y'all going to help me here. You can't be saved like that. You got to be saved based on what Jesus told you to do. Yeah. He says, I'm the door. Wait a minute, let me just tell you this. Whenever you see the T-H-E in front of the word, that means one and only. Yeah. That means don't look for another. Yeah. It's only one and only. When he says, I am the way, the truth, the life, which means there's only one. It's only one, one, one way, one truth, only one life. And Jesus says, I'm it. Yeah. If you want it, you got to come to me. Yeah. You can't get it no other way. Yeah. So Jesus help us to understand, oh, my time is getting away from me. All right? And the, and the Bible said it's going to read. Set it, to, set it in the side there. Now, now, watch this now. The door, remember the window was way up. But he said, put the door in the side. Yeah. Which means the entrance into the church is by the side. How do we come into the church today? We come into the church today by the side. You remember in John 19, 34. After Jesus, our blessed Savior, had died on Yonder's Hill, the Bible said they made up their mind that they weren't going to let him hang there and the religious day was coming. They decided to break the legs to hasten on the death. But the Bible says when they came to Jesus, he was dead already. And one of the soldiers pierced him in the side. And out of his side came out blood and it came out water. And I'm thankful for that soldier because he helped us to understand how can I come into the church? I come in by blood and I come in by the water. You got to understand the Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse number 26. The Bible said by the washing of water, we are cleansed by the washing of water by the word. Well, the Bible said in 1 John 1, and verse number seven, that if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all of our sin. Ephesians 5.26, the water cleans. First John 1.7, the blood cleans. And they work together in baptism that you and I might be saved. Listen to the Bible in Matthew 26. And verse number 28, Jesus, this is my blood of the New Testament that shed for many for remission of sin. What is the blood for? The blood is for remission of sin. Acts 2 and verse number 38, he said baptism is for remission of sin. My friend, listen, what the blood is for, the water is for, the very same thing. Acts 22 and verse 16, Ananias told Saul, arise and be baptized and wash away your sin. Call it on the name of the Lord. What is baptism for? It's for the washing away of our sin. Revelation chapter 1 and verse number 5 from Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us who blood who washed us in his own blood. What does the blood do? The blood will wash us. What does the water do? The water will wash us. And I stopped by to tell you, you can't reach the blood unless you go through the water. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 9 and verse number 14 that it is the blood of Jesus that affects the conscience of man. 
it's his blood that affects our conscience. Well, the Bible said in 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse number 20, which sometime were disobedient, when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a preparing, wherein few that is eight soul were saved by water, the like figure, wherein to baptism do it also now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. What does baptism do? It affects the conscience. What does the blood do? It affects the conscience. Which means, my friend, the same thing that the blood does, the water does the very same thing. The Bible says when they pierced them in the side, out of the side came blood. And it came water. And you know the windows were up, but thank God he put the door in the side. Which means anybody can access the door. If you come with obedient heart tonight, you can access the door and you can come into the Lord's church. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And the Bible said, let's not hold y'all too long. But let me just tell you, Brother Jackson fed me before church tonight, so I may just go a little long tonight. All right, go and read, sir. All right, watch what the Bible said. He said, watch this now. And when he built when he built it, he said, with Lord, second, second, and third stories, three floors to the all. Three floors. One for the father, one for the son. Oh, y'all gonna help me tonight? Uh, all right. And the Bible said, <laughs> come on, Brother Jackson. All right, now. Uh, and the Bible said, watch what the book says. Go to me, sir. And behold. And behold. I, 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 watch this now. I, even I. You bring a flood of water. God said, I'm gonna bring a flood of water. On the earth. Go to me, sir. Destroy all flesh. I, what God said, I'm going to destroy all flesh. Wherein is the Wherein breath of life. Is the breath of life from, under heaven. from under heaven. And everything. And everything. In the earth. That's in the earth. Shall die. It's going to die. Come on, read. But with thee. But with you. Will I establish my covenant. God said, I'm going to. I wish I had time to do all this. Yeah, because right. God only had a covenant with only one individual. In the New Testament, that covenant was with his son, Jesus Christ. You got to come and be a part of the Lord's church if you want to go in covenant with God. And the Bible says, watch this. Come on, read. And thou shalt come into the ark. Now, now, watch this. And thou shalt come into the ark. Thou. You. And thy son. Watch this now. You got to come in. Uh -huh. That son. That little Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Uh -huh. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The Bible says, you, Noah, come in. Uh -huh. Watch this. And that sons. Your boys. Come in. Uh -huh. And thy wife. Your wife. Come in. Uh -huh. And thy son's wife. Watch this these. now. These three boys were married. Uh -huh. Watch what happened. I got three children. Uh -huh. My three children all wear my name. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. I got one boy. If he ever gets married, he's gonna have to do something. He won't live with me forever. <laughs> but that one boy, if he marries a girl, that girl has to wear his name. Amen. 